Hello everyone. How are you all my dear students? I hope you all are fine and doing your studies well. So my dear students, as you all know, in a previous video we have completed grammar lesson number 12. So my dear students, today we are going to revise lesson number 12 adjectives. Okay? Why we are doing revision? For students who missed the previous video, they can come to know that what we are studying and students, those who are regular, they can revise these topics. Okay, so let's begin. Nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anyone can start today and make a new ending. So, this is the image of your textbook, chapter 12, adjectives. Look at the pictures and write four adjectives to describe them. So, let's see here. First picture is given here. Rainy. Rainy. Then, cloudy. Cloudy. Sunny. Sunny. Green. Green. Then, funny. Funny. Bright. Bright. Colorful. Colorful. Happy. Happy. Red. Red. Fragrant. Fragrant. Three. Three. Beautiful. Beautiful. Then, let's see this one. Tasty. Tasty. Then, layered. Layered. Hungry. Hungry. Spicy. Spicy. Then, strong. Strong. Powerful. Powerful. Graceful. Graceful. Bold. Bold. Blue. Blue. Round. Round. Watery. Watery. Pretty. Pretty. Then, exciting. Exciting. Bright. Bright. Thrilling. Thrilling. Round. Round. Fancy. Fancy. Red. Red. Fast. Fast. Expensive. Expensive. Then, magical, magical, shiny, shiny, small, small, leafy, leafy. Then, after that, we have completed that exercise and after that, we have revised all the definitions. Okay, let's see again. Read these words. Read these words. A short pencil. A short pencil. A long scale. A long scale. The words short and long describe a pencil and a ruler. 
the words short and long describe a pencil and a ruler a word that tells us more about a noun is called an adjective a word that tells us more about a noun is called an adjective now exercise 1 answer these questions to find out how an adjective tells us more about a noun answer these questions to find out how an adjective tells us more about a noun so here what is the color of your school shirt what is the color of your school shirt blue blue then what is the shape of your lunch box what is the shape of your lunch box rectangle rectangle then how many members are there in your family how many members are there in your family four four the answers you have given are all adjectives the answers you have given are all adjectives numbers shapes and colors are adjectives numbers shapes and colors are adjectives then exercise 2 fill in the blanks with adjectives of your choice fill in the blanks with adjectives of your choice a he has curly hair he has curly hair b nimmo has a beautiful dress nimmo has a beautiful dress c i was given a gold medal as a prize i was given a gold medal as a prize d anis had a black ship anis had a black ship then i cannot write with such a light pencil i cannot write with such a light pencil father gave me an orange pen father gave me an orange pen the dash kitten broke the vase naughty the naughty kitten broke the vase he is a dash man he is a strong man he is a strong man then next we bought dash books from the fair we bought dash books from the fair answer is 2 we bought two books from the fair then there was a dash puppy in the backyard noisy there was a noisy puppy in the backyard there was a noisy puppy in the backyard the dash film was enjoyed by all my friends answer comedy the comedy film was enjoyed by all my friends the comedy film was enjoyed by all my friends then definitions begins from here read these words honest man tall giraffe true incident honest man tall giraffe true incident the highlighted adjectives describe the quality of the nouns the highlighted adjectives describe the quality of the nouns so here is the definition adjectives that describe the quality of a person place animal or thing are called adjectives of quality 
adjectives that describe the quality of a person, place, animal or thing are called adjectives of quality. The next one, read these words, several children, several children, some rice, some rice, many packages, many packages. The highlighted adjectives describe the quantity of the nouns. The highlighted adjectives describe the quantity of the nouns. Adjectives that describe the quantity of nouns are called adjectives of quantity. Adjectives that describe the quantity of nouns are called adjectives of quantity. Then, read these words. Fourth game. Fourth game. Twenty-six years. Twenty-six years. One dish, one dish. The highlighted adjectives describe the number of the nouns. The highlighted adjectives describe the number of the nouns. So, adjectives that describe the number of nouns are called adjectives of number. Adjectives that describe the number of nouns are called adjectives of number. Now, adjectives of number can be further divided into two groups. Adjectives of number can be further divided into two groups. That is cardinal and ordinal. Cardinal and ordinal. So, adjectives that tell us about the number of nouns are called Cardinal adjectives of number. Adjectives that tell us about the number of nouns are called cardinal adjectives of number. For example, ten boys. Ten boys. Then, adjectives that tell us about the order of a person or a thing in a series are called ordinal adjectives of number. Adjectives that tell us about the order of a person or a thing in a series are called ordinal adjectives of number. For example, first price. First price. Now, read these words. Her dress, her dress, my brother, my brother, their house, their house. The highlighted words tell us who possesses the noun. The highlighted words tell us who possesses the noun. So, adjectives that show who owns or possesses something are called possessive adjectives. Adjectives that show who owns or possesses something are called possessive adjectives. Now next one, demonstrative adjectives. That man, that man, this park, this park, those People, those people, these pens, these pens. The highlighted adjectives help in pointing out the noun. The highlighted adjectives help in pointing out the noun. So, adjectives that help in pointing out a specific person, place, animal or thing are called demonstrative adjectives. Adjectives that help in pointing out a specific person, place, animal or thing are called demonstrative adjectives. Now, study the table. So, when we can use this, that, those, Sorry, T-H-E-S-E, this and those. 
this, that, this and those. So let's see. This points to a person, an animal or a thing that is nearby. Points to a person, an animal or a thing that is nearby. That points to a person, an animal or a thing that is far away. Points to a person, an animal or a thing that is far away. This points to people, animals or thing that are nearby. Points to people, animals or things that are nearby. Those points to people, animals or things that are far away. Points to people, animals or things that are far away. So now let's see exercise. Exercise number 3. Underline the adjectives and mention their kinds. Underline the adjectives and mention their kinds. So let's see here. I have already done underline for you. So you just have to underline the words and mention its kind. Okay. Let's see. The cold days will be here soon. The cold days will be here soon. Cold adjective. Cold adjective. Which type of adjective? Quality. Adjective of quality. Adjective of quality. Then B. That is my uncle, Mr. Sharma. That is my uncle, Mr. Sharma. That adjective. That adjective. Type demonstrative adjective demonstrative adjective then they have a beautiful house they have a beautiful house beautiful adjective beautiful adjective and type adjective of quality adjective of quality then these are my roller's cats. These are my roller's cats. My adjective. My adjective and type possessive adjective. Possessive adjective. Then I got the first position in class. I got the first position in class. First adjective. First adjective and type ordinal adjective of numbers. Ordinal adjective of numbers. So now my dear students, I am giving you some time to note down this in your rough book. Okay. Those whose textbook is already completed, who have already written in grammar textbook, they have to write this in their rough book. And those whose grammar textbook is incomplete, write it in your grammar textbook. So I hope you all have completed this. Then my brother gave me this watch. My brother gave me this watch. Me adjectives. Me adjectives. Type possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. Then Akbar was a wise king. Akbar was a wise king. Wise adjective. Wise adjective. Type adjective of quality. Adjective of quality. Then there was not much rain in this season. 
there was not much rain in this season much adjective much adjective type adjective of quantity adjective of quantity then ganga is a long river in india ganga is a long river in india long adjective long adjective type adjective of quality adjective of quality then throw these papers in the dustbin throw these papers in the dustbin this adjective this adjective type demonstrative adjective demonstrative adjective so my dear students now i am giving you some time to note down this exercise so i hope you all have completed this now let's move to the next topic that is order of adjectives order of adjectives means in which form of order you have to write adjectives so let's see here when many adjectives are used together when many adjectives are used together they are placed in the sentence in a proper order they are placed in the sentence in a proper order so adjectives usually come in this order adjectives usually come in this order so let's see first is opinion opinion then size size shape shape age age color color nationality nationality material material now let's see examples opinion beautiful beautiful soft soft then size big big small small then shape round round oval oval then age new or old you can write which is given in your textbook or in your particular sentence okay then color blue black any of the color can come in the sentence chinese chinese arabian arabian then material plastic plastic woolen woolen now let's see exercise exercise number 4 rearrange these words rearrange the words keep the order of adjectives in mind keep the order of adjectives in mind so here you have to arrange in the order of adjective let's see square small japanese red scrapbook square small japanese red scrapbook so the answer is small red japanese scrapbook small red japanese scrapbook the next is purple small new pen purple small new pen answer is small new purple pen small new purple pen then funny young little boys funny 
young little boys answer is funny little young boys funny little young boys then beautiful yellow cotton indian sari beautiful yellow cotton indian sari answer is beautiful yellow indian cotton sari beautiful yellow indian cotton sari then wooden small brown turkish table wooden small brown turkish table answer is small round turkish wooden tables small round turkish wooden tables so my dear students now i am repeating this exercise okay so you all can easily understand it square small japanese red scrapbook so the answer is small red japanese scrapbook then purple small new pen answer is small new purple pen small new purple pen then funny young little boys funny young little boys then funny little young boys funny little young boys then next is beautiful yellow cotton indian sari beautiful yellow cotton indian sari answer is beautiful yellow indian cotton sari beautiful yellow indian cotton sari then wooden small brown turkish table wooden small brown turkish table answer is small round turkish wooden tables small round turkish wooden tables so my dear students today we will do till here only i hope you all understand this lesson properly regarding this lesson or regarding today's session if you are having any doubts feel free to message me on my whatsapp number i hope you all are watching videos regularly and doing your work regularly and in the next session we are going to start english so whenever you will sit for watching the next video sit with your english textbook as we are going to start lesson number 10 of english the siddharth and the swan so as you all know before the explanation of lesson we are doing the reading session so from the next session we are going to start reading so whenever you will be sit for the videos watching videos sit with your english textbook okay we will meet in our next session till then take care of yourself bye bye